Yo, what is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put fake clouds onto your videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little sequence that I put together. These uh, intros take a bit of time, so I would appreciate it if you guys just said something about it in the comment section below, and I'll definitely respond to you guys. So without further ado guys, let's get started with this cloud tutorial. So first thing we're going to want to do is make a new sequence so that we can find something to work with. So I'll go to new item, I'm going to go to sequence. This doesn't really matter because I'll change it right now. So I'm going to import these two um, clips here. Put them onto the timeline. I'm just gonna change sequence settings, like I said, and um, we'll see how this looks. So I'm just gonna play it out just so we know what we're working with, and then I would probably trim it from there. So I noticed that it starts to accelerate around this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it here and I'm gonna let it continue playing. Okay, so as you notice, those two clips are definitely not in an exotic location. That's literally the botanical garden in San Antonio. But in order to make it look more exotic and more isolated from where it's actually at, what we can do is trim it a little bit early. So I guess I could trim it around there, just so that way you get the top down view um, of, of the location and you don't get so much of the city so I'm going to take this down and yes I do lose a lot of the footage but it's, it's all about what you want right so do you want to make that location look more exotic or do you want to just reveal where it's actually at so that was my goal in my intro was to make it look like an exotic location and very mysterious with those clouds so on to the next shot as well I'm gonna wait for it to see. Let me see. So you'll notice that there is two separate. There's two separate um, movements that I did with the drone on the analog stick. Unfortunately, I wasn't consistent. I kind of jerked it, and I do not like my jerks in my um, in my clips. So we're gonna fix that. And I trimmed it to the very last jerk, so that way it's really not noticeable, and it's not. So what we can do here is now that we have two clean clips, everything should look pretty crisp. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this smoke footage that I got. I don't need the audio, I can just delete that. Um, and you'll notice right here, it's super small. So what I'm gonna do is go here, and I'm gonna go to the scale and put it at 200% so that we can fill up the whole screen. So it's also super long, so what we're gonna do is cut it to the parts that we don't need, and then we can also, well actually let me undo that with Control Z, and uh, we can just skim through it so that we, we guys, uh, you guys can see what it is. So all it really is, it's a haze machine, right? So, or a smoke machine. And it's pretty long, so it gives you a lot to work with. And I just found this on YouTube. I downloaded it, I just Googled the YouTube downloader, and then I downloaded the MP4 for it, and then it's it's on my computer now, so. So yeah, but there's one problem that we have is that it's on a black background. All we need to do is come over here to the blending option for that, make sure you select it, whatever clip you're trying to fix, and then you're gonna change it to screen. But what that's gonna do is, it's, it's gonna, well, wow, that stutter. It's gonna get rid of the black in the image and it's gonna make it transparent pretty much. So it, it's perfect. So now if I play it back, you'll notice that it plays over the, the clip like perfectly without any hassle. So the only issue that I have with this is it looks like it's just, it just doesn't look real with, with the movement that it would be making. So 
to fix that, right, is, um, I'll show you guys right now. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna cut this part in half because when it, whenever you're overlaying, um, I guess fake clouds, I was gonna say smoke, um, and then you're gonna put them on two separate clips, you don't want them to be the same cloud that you're faking, I guess. You want it to make it seem like it's a different cloud. So a better way to do that is to obviously get a different part of that video from the cloud. So we're gonna keep scrolling over here and I'm gonna, so obviously when the smoke comes back in, that's when it gets a little bit more crazy. So I'm gonna have it right here. Oh, let me see. Let's see how fast it's moving right there. Um, okay, so it's not going too crazy. Yeah, right there is probably fine. So I'm gonna deselect this. And well, I also have to delete right here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete what we don't need. And then we are going to move it over here back to the front. So, so now if I play it, it's gonna look a little bit better. Still not finished though. We still have to add a little bit more detail. So we're gonna play it. And again, it's not the look I want, but there, since it's a slower movement, it works. Um, but for here, a good way to fix it is we can go here to the, um, the viewing option and go to 10%. And then when we select the smoke image, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna flip it 90 degrees that way. So that way we can mess with the positioning. So if you're a little bit confused, trust me, everything's gonna be put together like right now. So I'm gonna upscale it just to, to where it covers the ends. So about right there is fine. And then uh, let me think, I might have this backwards. Um, okay. So I want it to, oh, no, no. I want to change the positioning to be right there, around there. And then I'm gonna make a keyframe at the very at the very beginning. I'm gonna put a keyframe for the positioning. Those of you that don't know what keyframing is, keyframing pretty much means I'm telling that clip to start at that point and then I'm gonna make another point in time and it's gonna move to that point. So. So you'll notice that there's a little diamond here. So if I go to the end of the clip, and I go back one, um, and then I change the position of it to like right here, you'll notice that there's two diamonds now. And as I scroll through it, you'll notice that the positioning here, if you look at this positioning, it's changing in between. So automatically it's already changing. So now if we play the image, let's, let's put it to fit. And then if we play it, it looks like we're actually passing through the clouds. So that looks so much better and way, way more realistic. So you can play around with it guys. You can see that the clouds are moving a little bit faster than what I'm actually moving. So what I can do is I can go to the last clip right here and um, make it a little bit slower. So that matches a little bit better. We can obviously perfect it. Let me just change it one more time just for just cause I can. And that actually lines up really good. So those are the two clips guys. And here is the before with, without them. And then here is the after right now. Makes a huge difference guys. And this is also without color grading. Of course, if you want to color grade it, yeah, the Lumetri effects right here to the right, as long as you're under the color tab. And this is a whole nother story. I would recommend taking away the clouds first. And then, you know, of course, color grading it and then um, enhancing whatever colors you want to get out of it. But you can just go, you can go crazy with the color grades, guys. You can literally make it look like it's fall. And then you add the clouds and it just looks crazy. Like that looks not, that does not look like San Antonio at all, guys. So. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. Flying through clouds isn't really a legal thing to do, so this is one way to do it. And it doesn't look too bad, so without further ado guys, have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Peace.